Listed in Daryl Davis's book of original Max Wedge serial numbers, this car is one of only 14 426 four-speed Belvederes produced for the 1964 model year. If you're looking for a no-nonsense pavement pounder that's fast, raw, and ready to brawl, you found your next heavyweight. An extension of legendary designer Elwood Engel's modernist rescue of Plymouth's increasingly eccentric product line, the firm's newly downsized B-body did almost as well on Chrysler's sell charts as it did on America's drag strips and super speedways. Unlike the majority of these badass Mayflower Warriors, which were purchased almost exclusively for sanctioned drag racing, this car has never had its front inner aprons cut for exhaust headers, never had a roll cage installed, and never had its rear wheel wells tubbed for oversized drag slicks. In fact, when this Plymouth True Heritage was discovered in the late 1990s, the car had been mechanically and cosmetically transformed into an all-steel slush box. Naturally, its enlightened savior knew he had something special, so he began a frame-off restoration by welding in new floor pans from a clean donor car and hanging new quarters from a high-quality aftermarket supplier. Next, when a trademark aluminum front end was finally located, it was reskinned, thoroughly worked, and perfectly aligned with its new body, then covered in a wet-looking coat of correct Chrysler ruby red paint. Gently lift the hood and you'll find a date correct Max Wedge V8 that wears an authentic casting number, a December 10th of 1963 date stamp, and a 1964 V Series Maximum Performance High Compression 426 cubic inch engine stamp. Pushing a brutal 12 and a half to 1 compression ratio, and currently dynoed at 486 horsepower and 469 pound feet of torque. This Mopar monster has built a hard-fought reputation for being one of the best competition motors ever created. That high-powered big block churns torque through a tough A833 four-speed manual to an original factory-narrowed eight and three-quarter inch rear end. During the restoration, that transmission received new bearings, new synchros, a new clutch and pressure plate, and a correct Castile bell housing. The rear end was fitted with a new sure grip differential and tall 410 gears. Take a look inside the car and you'll find a spacious and airy environment which has enough room to haul the whole family in comfort. Top dead center is a pair of red bench seats that are lined with new padding, stitched with NOS covers, and accented by bright stainless trim. New black carpet does an excellent job of highlighting the car's original and re-chromed her shifter. And in front of those seats, a two-tone dash hangs a silver 49 Plymouth-inspired instrument panel next to original radio and heater deletes. And a restored steering wheel spins a red rim around a pristine chrome horn ring. This aluminum nosed Belvedere is a super cool piece of muscle car history that's easy to imagine as the focal point of a sunny 60s track day. For more information on this awesome car, call, click, or visit rkmotorscharlotte.com.